He's originally from St. Catherine, Jamaica, now fighting out of and representing Toronto, Ontario, Canada. With a fine record of 25 wins, only one loss, one draw, he has 18 wins by way of knockout. Introducing Donovan Razor Ruddy. Let me see how I can start this, this um, life story. I grew up with my sibling, my four, four, four brothers, my two brothers and my two sisters, right? They're, they're kind of aggressive. We are, we are, the whole family is aggressive. My father's a butcher and he grew me up in a way where when I, if I go to school and I, I fight, I can't, I'm not, I can't lose. I guess he's going to beat me. Okay? That's my dad. How was he punching? Was it hurting like you? Like a son of, he punches like a meal kick. Unbelievable. Excuse my French, please. I, I love to fight. Fighting is, is hard for me. When the bell rang and you want to, you start the fight, somebody is going down. We're not stop, we're not throwing, stop throwing punches until somebody's finished. It's not work, it's not a work for me. It's an art, it, it's fun. I love to train. It took away my aggression. It, it, I thought I could um, channel it into something positive. If I, if I didn't have boxing, I think I'd be in, I would get myself in a lot of trouble and I'd probably be in jail. So boxing saved my life by giving me a purpose. 11 to nothing. Under, ooh, 11 to 1. That's a good hard shot. Ruddick trying to finish him off. Combination. Page into the ropes. Getting destroyed. I used to scrap a lot, really. I, I find it wasn't really scrapping to me. I was having fun. They think he was scrapping, but anyways. I do a lot of scrapping at school, so I've been fighting since I was a baby. I was about eight years old. My mother decided she wanted to go to Canada to um, get a better life because Jamaica was getting tough, eh? And three years later, she sent for us. I went there when I was 11 years old, but it was a big um, culture shock because we're, we're, I'm, I'm in Jamaica with all black people, and then I come to Canada where it's all white people, so it's a big culture shock. And I was in grade six. No, no, grade 8 at the time, when a friend of mine said to me, Donovan, why don't you go do boxing? You kill everybody. And I looked at my Rico, Rico Rossi, the Italian kid. And I looked at him and I said, Rico, you know, you're a genius. You're brilliant. Right now, Roddick is fighting the wrong fight, not using his legs at all. I realized that. In New York, they have all the bad boys. So I figured if I'm going to be bad in boxing, I got to go to New York. So I went to my brother's school to get his bag to pack my, my clothes to go to New York that same day. My brother said, Donovan, okay, you love boxing. Why don't you just try it here in Toronto and see if you like it enough to. And, and you know something, that right, that's why you're my bro the older brother, you know. That's why you're, I, okay, all right, I'll, I'll listen to you. Okay, I'll try it here in Toronto. So I went downtown, I found a gym named Lansdowne Boxing Gym. And I went there and I was in awe. I saw the guy doing the speed bag and it was just impressive. And, I, and there's a guy near at the gym named Billy Lehman. He's a bus driver and he's a nice guy. And I said, I was talking to him and he said, you want a box? Okay, go home and get, get some hand wraps and some shoes and some shorts. And that's the way boxing started for me. And I got the shorts and I went home and I took the bus two hours every day to go to the gym. I just love it. From, from North York to downtown, every day, I go to the gym and I've been training ever since. What, what I do in boxing speaks for itself and people will enjoy it and I enjoy it. And anyone who's interested in fighting me, I'm there. I have a few guys on the list that I think that is interested, which is our... Uh, Razor Ruddick, Razor Ruddick died. 
If he doesn't die, it doesn't count. If he doesn't die, it doesn't count. He already said in his, out of his own mouth that if I didn't die, he's, um, we have to do it again. And I did, I'm standing right here, Mr. Tyson, Mr. Tyson, so we got to do it again, okay? Because you said it. I didn't say it, you said it, okay? That if I didn't die, we're going to do it again. So let's do it again, my brother. What do you say? Call me.